Hello, KCPC friends. My name is Patricia Nimba, and I am a, the Director of Leader and Community Development at Building Hope in the City. Some of you may already be familiar with Building Hope. We've been blessed to have some of you as volunteers with us and some of our work that we're doing in the city. So we are super excited to talk to you about uh, our urban immersion experiences so that you can learn a little bit more about it and hopefully be prayerful about joining us this summer. So just as a quick overview about Building Hope in the City in case you are not very familiar with us. Um, our mission is to advance the good of the city, magnify the mission of Jesus and unleash the capability of underestimated people. Uh, we are very thankful for the mission and absolutely feel like this is something that God has called us to do in the city. Um, we really try to link congregations and volunteers with uh, many people that we serve throughout the city and to create space for people to build relationships with folks maybe they otherwise would not build relationships with. And throughout all of that, hopefully see some uh, development of community transformation. The main four ways that we kind of live into our mission are through our refugee and immigrant uh, integration programming. You may be familiar with that. I know that um, we've had some great volunteers from KCPC at our Hope Center. Uh, we also do social enterprise um, where we currently own two uh, very nice thrift stores. If you haven't been, check us out, Common Threads, and we hope to bring on more in the future. Um, and then we're really excited about these last two areas are, are the areas that I get to spend most of my time in with Building Hope, and that's in building the capacity of faith leaders. And, you know, we have a pretty broad spectrum of what we consider faith leaders. It can be someone who is just early on saying, you know, how do I live into my faith? Um, I want to, you know, pray more effectively for the city or for the marketplace or be a leader in my community. You know, and that spectrum stretches out in terms of responsibility and people of impact to, you know, maybe pastors who want their congregations to be more effective uh, and present and relevant in the community. So very excited about that. And then community development and affordable housing. And so where we really are landing and just talking to you a bit about the emergent experience is in the building of community and faith leaders, even a little bit of taking a look at community development from a biblical standpoint. So uh, that we're very excited about that. So with those things in mind, uh, we are excited to offer our uh, fellow kingdom folks across the city uh, what we call urban immersions. So I'm not sure how many who are listening to me have experienced immersions. Um, I personally have had the opportunity to travel um, all across uh, the nation and just experience what the people are, of God are doing in different cities and kind of have an experience that allowed me to be a bit reflective about how I was seeing my faith and, and how I was activating myself in the margins. And we consider the margins just, when you think of any group of people who are not like at the center of decision-making, sometimes folks who have experienced homelessness and, um, you know, generational poverty and you know who often are just excluded at the decision making table and um who you know folks really have to make an effort sometimes depending on you know your own circle to connect with so what the intentions are is an experience that we work with leaders of either small groups or churches to provide a two to five day experience into city dynamics in ministry. And really the goal is to provide a formative experience, something, you know, it's always our hope that you will join in on an immersion experience and you will experience something, participate in something, have some sort of dialogue that because of that, you know, you will see things differently and maybe be even encouraged to engage in the city in some way or in the margins in some way. 
that's kind of a little bit about what immersions are. So why do we do them? Uh, as we said, at Building Hope, we feel called to really make an impact in the city in different dynamic ways. So one, we feel like doing immersions allows us to steward that responsibility well, like not hold that into ourselves, because we know that the same stirring that God has in our heart to want to make a difference, there's other people like you who are out there who say, you know, what do I do with the great gift that has been given to me, like freedom in Christ, faith, all these things. Uh, we are, place a very high demand, um, not demand, we place a very high premium on relationships at Building Hope in the City. So we love to provide space for people to deepen their relationships and perhaps build new relationships. We believe that also because we're looking at immersions from a city of Cleveland standpoint, just in, in engaging with the different leaders across the city, allow us to build into the ministry ecosystem in Cleveland. Um, because we believe God is doing things in Cleveland, very intentionally making strategic connections. And through the immersion experience, those who are participating will be able to see that a little bit. And then, of course, formation. Um, we think the best way to be transformers in our culture and our society is to push, position ourselves to be transformed ourselves, right? To change, to grow, to develop. And so we really consider that the immersions are more than a mission trip. Um, and it kind of goes beyond some of the project-based activities that you often see people do on maybe like an urban mission trip. We may do some of those if it makes sense for everyone involved, um, but it also is very heavy on exposing ourselves to new things, education, and really just training uh, for ministry, whatever that might look like, because we all may not minister in the church or, um, you know, in one of the direct five-fold ministry gifts, but even in our profession, whatever, in our families and in our communities, wherever God will call us to. So what will we be doing on all this good time together? Um, as I mentioned before, um, really sharing, we're thankful that um, the Lord has given us the opportunity to have some interaction, some good things already going on in the city. Uh, and we would love to share that with those who participate. We do something we like to call go and sees. Um, you might consider it a site visit. Uh, like I said, if it makes sense for all of us involved, you know, we'll do a project-based activity. We definitely are not really big fans of doing projects for the sake of doing projects. I mean, it would be something that would have um, some good multidimensional um, benefit to those who we would be utilizing our time to serve and also where as we serve we would be able to receive. Um, with our busy lives we love to see emergence as a time to enter into some worship together and then of course with having all these good experiences it's great to have some personal reflection time and discussion. So that's just a little bit high level of specifically what we do but we do believe you'll walk away from emergent experience having a better articulation of God's view of like the city and the margin, hopefully setting you up to ask yourself some pretty good reflective questions about, you know, how God will want you to interact with these things. So that is a nice high level overview of what the emergence could be. Um, I have my friend Caleb here, who's been working with you all to talk about if you, um, feel like it's something you want more information about, uh, I definitely would encourage you to take time to pray about it and not really just make a decision, you know, from just our, our mental selves, but ask the Lord, is this is something he would want you to be involved with? Yeah, thanks, Patricia. Yeah, no, yeah, I definitely want to encourage our group uh, to uh, come out of our comfort zone and really immerse ourselves in the city of Cleveland. Uh, I believe that, you know, uh, in God's will that he wants us to reach out and share the gospel to all to all these other families that might not even have heard of him. So um, it's good to have dialogue and it's good to, yeah, good to find a way to serve, find, find ways to serve in our own city. So, yeah, thank you. Absolutely. So reach out to Caleb, I guess, if they want more information and uh, he can tell you about the dates uh, that we have pegged and you can see if it can work uh, with you. Hope to meet some of you. Sounds good. Thank you, Patricia.
So my pleasure.